Good evening. Thank you for coming to Sicily Tyson. We are about to start the graduation process. If you can find a seat and clear the aisles. Find a seat and clear the aisles. Thank you.
remain standing for the invocation, the Pledge of Allegiance, the Star Spangled Banner, and the Federal Assistant. Grand Dr. Stephen Webb from Fresh Start Academy High School and Administrator will give the invocation. In the book of Jeremiah, first chapter, the fifth verse, it says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before I, you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you over many nations. God knew you would be here at this appointed hour during this time. Let us pray. You're talking about all wise God. We come to this place at this very time. We thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you that you have brought us through many dangers, toils, and snares. We thank you for this time of celebration. We thank you for the class of 2022. We thank you for their resiliency and their tenacity. A, a class that has made it through a pandemic, a class that has made, it, made adjustments and has proven they can perform at the highest levels in spite of adversity. We thank the Sisley Tyson School of Performing Arts that has helped to shape and mold these graduates into the people they are and who they shall become. We thank you for their educators, teachers, administrators, food service workers, security guards, crossing guards, custodians, and everyone that has contributed to making them a success and making this day possible. We thank you for these parents and guardians and caregivers. We thank you for siblings and friends that have sold into the lives of these graduates. We honor our ancestors at this time, those that are looking down, thanking them for what they have done before us. We invoke your blessings on this commencement ceremony as we celebrate and commemorate the class of 2022. We thank you right now. These and all other blessings we pray in him who orders our steps. We say thank you and amen. amen.
cases. Uh, 
you know, each and every one of us experiencing different feelings. Um, coming back to full live instruction, which was very, very necessary. Um, we had to get through it, we got through it together. One of the things our superintendent stated to the entire staff all year is to make sure that we all took time for ourselves and our wellness, because without that, we wouldn't be good to anyone. I wouldn't be good to these students or this community. So that was very, very important. Um, class of 2022, you're turning the page and you're gonna start this exciting new chapter in your life. And as Tyson graduates, you're well prepared to lead and take charge of your future. You are equipped with the tools that will help you achieve any goal. Remember to believe in yourself. The belief you have in yourself, coupled with the belief that's a, and support that your loved ones have in you, has to be greater than any doubt. There are always going to be doubters and naysayers, but over the last four years, you've allowed yourself to persevere through everything thrown in your, in your direction, soaring high only as equals know how to. In life, the expectations that you make a quantum leap, and you make that quantum leap immediate. But somehow, if you didn't, you failed. That's, how not, that's not how goals work. Make sure in life you have to take a step. One step at a time, step after step. And when you look back, you have made that corner wheel. And when you're done, and I know you all will make that corner wheel. <laughs> I'm breathing. <laughs> and when you get there, you all will get there. Never let success go to your head, but never let failure get to your heart. Drake said, I can't take credit. <laughs> he also said the haters will broadcast your failure, your failures, but whisper your success. Not me. I'm gonna broadcast your success. <laughs> So let's talk about some of the successes you guys have had as the class of 2022. First, this is the class, the first class to walk on this campus as kindergartners over at the Tyson Elementary School. So you spent 13 years on this complex and now you're walking out the door. <laughs> Dreams, dreams, they 
know what's happening. But where are my 13 and no? What's that mean to people? Where's my 13 and no?
keep asking another round of applause for that presentation. Good evening, everyone. Let me start with um, a guy who I always say my principal, Mr. English, to our superintendent, to our board president, um, Terry Tucker Swanson, and to all the board members, to um, all the parents, to the faculty, to all the teachers, principals that are here tonight, tonight, and to all of the class of 2022. Give yourself another round of applause. to just share a few words with all of you. Thank you for allowing me to um, be a part of this platform tonight. I just want to say to our parents, thank you so much for the support that you have given your children. Give, your, give yourself another round of applause. And to all our young people, uh, uh, Principal English said it, and couldn't say it no clearer, how proud we are for all of you here in the city of East Orange. Uh, we are proud of you because of not only seeing all of you graduate and take another step into another selection of your life, a section of your life, but more so for overcoming the barriers that most people say that we cannot do. It. Right? That's right. Give yourself a hand for that because we, we you, you guys have shown the world not only through academics, not only through sports, not only through um, your ability with your, with your singing and your dancing and articulating here in the city of East Orange. We, we have this charge that we're one city, that we're one community, and we have one goal, and that is progress. And all of you, the class of 2022, you have shown the world that. If I can give you any advice, go show the world who you are. Go show the world how great you are. And the number one thing that we all have to do, put God first. Don't allow anyone to tell any of y'all that you cannot. You already showed the world tonight that you're going to a different level in your life. And you can do it. I do have to ask all of you, go out, if you're going to college, four-year college, or two-year college, if you decide to say, you know what, I'm going to stay back, I'm going to open a business, I'm going to trade school, go and do it. It don't matter how long it takes you, just do it. Because you can do it, right? And do not allow anyone to steal your goal or your dream, right? No more. And I do ask all of you to just constantly remember the words that your parents been in your ear and all of these teachers, the superintendent, the principals, remember all those things they have encouraged you to do. And sometimes some of y'all act up and they had to get on you right here in the school but remember all of the encouragement and all of the words that these adults have given you. Because all of us can say on this stage probably as adults and adults that sit out there, I should have listened to what my parents said, right? <laughs> we all have to say that. Because parents, uh, they are right, they've been here longer than all of you, but we wish all of you the best. But I do ask you, don't forget about these stones. Don't forget about a city that nurtured you, a school that nurtured you. If you decide after four years, after choosing your career, we ask y'all to come back and give back. Because to be honest with you, y'all guys are the change makers of this world. So I say to you on behalf of the entire city of East Orange, the East Orange City Council, my family, we wish all of you the best. May God continue to bless all of you, guide all of you, protect all of you, and make sure that you continue to put God first. May God bless all of you. Thank you.
class of 2022 salutatorian, and my name is Becca Cooper. Before I start, I'd like to shout out my mom, dad, Ashley, Hannah, and Danielle, who helped get me here today, and to my classmates. In the words of Eleanor Roosevelt, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Four years ago, we all shared a dream when entering Tyson. In that dream, we saw ourselves capable of graduating and making memories along with lifelong bonds. We are at the end of a journey, and as you all can see, we are a few minutes away from achieving both. We have built a tight-knit community amongst ourselves. Over the past years, all 90 plus of us have supported and humored each other in classes from singing to science so that we could walk up here today and receive our diplomas together. In classes, we have worked as one to make sure that everyone grasps the concept of being taught. I can attest that we've made little Instagram and messenger groups to share notes and announcements. I am sure at least half of us have been saved by a notification that alerted us the night or even hour before our homework assignment was due. I know I have. Every week held something new, and the AP Bio group chat kept me on track. As a class, we have experienced many happy moments together. Every time we're on a trip, there is never a dull moment. People in the back love to cause a ruckus by being extra vibrant. Some even brought speakers to blast music. Others spent the whole ride cracking jokes. The comedic tonic was always on point. The class clowns really earned their title by making even the quietest person giggle or the unconscious jump out of their sleep from loud laughter. I'm sure that everyone missed those little moments. Personally, this community has impacted me by providing a support system. High school in general is particularly hard, especially when you choose to dedicate yourself to multiple things, whether it's adding college courses, taking honors classes, or playing a sport. My friends and family helped give me the motivation needed to continue to prosper in my classes. They were the ones available at 11 p.m. when I need people to talk to. In a way, we all helped each other grow. I'm sure most of you had similar microgroups that aided you through this journey. Another part of our community that can't be forgotten is the teachers. They helped to get us to the very moment. All of us have formed bonds with people that have become parental figures. About half of y'all address Ms. Wiley as mom, while the other half seek out performing arts teachers for guidance. Tyson teachers have provided us with knowledge that extends further than the classroom. They are the ones that took time out of their day to accommodate our needs. I know that they truly care about us. The same can be said for our parents who made sacrifice after sacrifice to provide for us. They are the foundation of, of our community. I especially want to thank my mom and dad who, for always being available mentally and physically. We have finally reached the beginning of our young adult lives. Let's create more dreams and work towards fulfilling too as we grow older. Some of us are going off to college while others are joining the military. A few have even decided to pick up a trade and others made the choice to join the work field. Over the past four years, we have become new people. I can't wait to see what you intend. Thank you. Seasons. A native of Baltimore, Maryland, 
She attended Western High School and is an alumna of Morgan State College before it was granted university status in 1975. She got married and worked as an IV-1 data processor for 25 years so that she and her husband could comfortably take care of their family, which included their son, Curtis. However, she'd always raised her son with a mantra, which was find that one thing that you really love to do and find a way to make a living at it. And if you do, you'll never feel like you're working a day in your life. So she decided to take her own advice and follow her passion for classical singing. At age 33, she started her first vocal lessons with the magnificent African-American opera baritone and actor, God Duncan. Within seven years, with as much performance experience as Ms. Hines could acquire, it all led her to a successful audition with the Metropolitan Opera Chorus. They first invited her to join their family part-time in 1995, then full-time in 1997. In this new position, she was responsible for learning as many as 12 to 16 different operas in a single season. The repertoire would eventually repeat, but there was always something new to learn in every season. And though her mantra declared, it should not feel like work if you love it, this, the different languages, the staging, the costuming, all filled her very, very long days with work. Very, very demanding work. But she loved it. When COVID-19 closed the doors to all performing arts venues across the country, Mrs. Hines' retirement happened a few months earlier than planned in May of 2020. Though she is still a mentor for Burgundian opera singers, Life as a seated audience member at the opera is her new passion, and a well-earned seat it is indeed. I am honored to present to you Miss April Haynes, soprano extraordinaire. I was so moved at your procession, and envious too, because as, um, as the young lady stated, I was late coming into my specialness. If there had been a school like this all those many years ago, I often wonder how soon it would have been before I had found my place and made my station in my creativeness as I hope all of you manage to do, as soon as you possibly can. So I'm here to make a pitch for opera. Yeah, opera. Uh, they were not playing Mozart in my hood. But singing is not the only thing that happens at the opera. There is art direction, there is marketing, there is development, there is sponsorship, there's ticketing, there is wardrobe, there is wigs, the dresses, there are wig makers, there's the chorus master, the chorus of which I was a part of, as I said, for 25 seasons. No one could have told me that I would have ended up with a career at the Metropolitan Opera. I have a friend who said, you know, I'm going up to New York for this audition. Do you think you want to come? I said, all the way to New York from Baltimore? Are you kidding me? And then he told me what they paid. I said, okay. I can do that. I had a young man to send to and I needed that salary. And it was not a mistake. But if you don't know, then you won't go. Because it takes a team to make the dream. It takes a team to make the dream. And you guys have just as much of an opportunity and a place on a team of that sort. No one
does opera better than the Metropolitan Opera, any place in the world. It is a borrowed art form. It is European in its invention. But the Metropolitan Opera this year opened its season with a piece by Terence Blanchard, a young jazz composer. The piece was called Fire Shut Up In My Bone. Okay? So I'm saying, opera has, it has come. It is coming. And you can take it. You can grab it by the hand and you can move forward. There's a place in it for you. You don't have to be that, that, that opera singer. You don't have to learn the German and learn the Russian and, and learn the Italian and learn the French, because yes, you all have to do that to, to sing in the company. But we have, we have young people who build sets. I mean, if, if construction and um, and creativity of that sort is what you do. The opera has a place for you. The opera has a place for you. It does not have to be seen. That is my message to you. And I'm making a strong pitch. We need you. Because believe me, when you look on the opera stage, there are not a lot of people that look like me. And we want that to change. It's a world, it's a platform on which you can stand and rise and be your best. Did I ever think it would take 25 years or that I would stay there 25 years? I can't say that I did. It all started for me very chorally. The piece that the chorus performed, your chorus performed, a hundred years when I was at Morgan, that same piece was handwritten by Mr. Carter, by Roland Carter, and he had exchanged it with my chorus master. They used to trade songs back and forth before the music was published. It was a wonderful thing to be on a team. It takes a team to make a dream. And we did that in our choral music and I ended up in a profession where the team matters. It matters. And you can join our team. There's something for you in our program and in the opera house. It's not just music. So don't let people, you know, it's, you know, convince you that opera is for those. <laughs>
Dr. Tyson's influence in academic circles has brought experts in the fields of mathematics, literature, and general learning strategies to this learning environment. Few can boast of such an active and caring person like Dr. Tyson, who has always been mindful every day of her special children at CTS. We miss those times when she would pop in to check on us unexpectedly. But most of all, we miss her birthday celebrations that she allowed us to be a part of each year. What a privilege. Today, to continue with Dr. Tyson's legacy, we are privileged to have her daughter here to give a few words of encouragement. It gives me great honor to present to you the daughter of our matriarch, Miss Marlena Franklin. Uh, 
at any rate, with Mrs. Trimmings. Is Marilyn Kelly here today? Miss Kelly, uh, that whole uh, team of people who she planned curriculum, uh, what the school would look like, what it would include. So she was very active, and that's very unusual because most uh, the people who have schools named after them, they may show up for the dedication and they may not. But there's rarely the on-hand activity that she devoted to the school. And I tell you that because I want you to know that her spirit is imbued in you. So if there's ever a time where you doubt yourself, or you feel you made the wrong choice for yourself, any kind of hesitation or challenge that you meet that may put you on a course of maybe I didn't make the right choice or questioning yourself. Always think of her and the fact that her spirit is imbued in you. She's smiling on all that you have achieved all year. Her spirit still supports the staff here. Mr. English, I did not address you. And the mayor, thank you. Um, and so, you always have that to look for in yourself. So, self-doubt does not exist for you. If it does momentarily, you have her spirit to rely on because she really is smiling down on you. I've never seen such devotion from her to a community and this school uh, that I've witnessed uh, in her lifetime. So, as long as you would exist and carry on your plan for your life, know that her spirit is with you and she's smiling on you. Thank you. My 
MVP, Mr. Nahum Lewis, was even regarded as first team for varsity basketball. But lastly, I cannot forget about the best sports team in East Orange, the track team. As a member of the track team, we have overcome adversity on multiple occasions to acquire success on the local, regional, and national stage. Some of us even became All-Americans recently at the Adidas Outdoor Nationals. Tiny and Kyle, I'm talking about you. To my favorite artists and performers, we have spent four years honing in on our performing and finance. I can gladly say that all of our hard work has paid off. The choir became McDonald's Gospel Fest champions during our freshman year. We also had a clean sweep at the Dorney Park Choir Competitions. The band has continuously traveled outside the state and won gold at their band competitions. Our DJ and my favorite music producer, Elijah, but most of y'all know him as Fanny Bennett, made history by DJ, DJing at his own prom. A couple of our artists, Ashley and Joe, even received scholarships for their art. You are the ones that I share most classes with since middle school. We have all grown and bonded together to power through difficult AP and honors assignments that challenge us. We exemplify Tyson's model. We aim high, we soar. I am proud of us all for being able to achieve this great academic goal. Let us continue to strive for excellence academically in our future endeavors. As a class, we have also collectively created great memories together. From dancing and singing lyrics at the top of our lungs as DJ British played our favorite songs at prom, to Jordan and Dennis cracking jokes making us all laugh hysterically, to many of the TikToks made around the school, we made it together. I'll forever hold the memories we created dear to my heart. Thank you to all the teachers and staff that have acted as our educators, support systems throughout these past four years. Thank you, Mrs. Peterson, A.P. Lang, and advisor of the National Honor Society for all your valuable tips and words of wisdom. You have kept my peers and I challenged, forcing us to ask creative questions. Mr. Bell, my global PA teacher. Thank you for all the love you have given us as a choir and keeping us engaged, musically, and afford us the opportunity to compete and perform in various venues. A special thank you to our class advisors, Ms. Wolf and Mrs. Wally Grant, they had our backs for all of our class events and fundraisers, especially during our senior year. Um, thank you to my best friends, Kayla, Elisa Gill, Prince, Zakia, Max, Kyle, and Nahum, and Cameron for always being there. Thank you to my family, and especially thank you to my mom for being my number one supporter and most importantly, my very best friend. Nurses, producers, millionaires, you name it. We have built a sound foundation here. Now, let's continue to fulfill our dreams and make the world and our communities flourish. So stay focused with hard work and determination, commitment and leadership. We will succeed and be victorious. The future is ours. I love you, the class of 2022. I will miss you all.
Good evening. Ms. Abdul Salim Hassan is the superintendent of schools for the East Orange, New Jersey School District. He oversees the education of more than 10,000 students and supervises 900 teachers across 22 schools, pre-K to 12, as well as a number of collaborating daycare centers. Prior to serving as superintendent of schools, Mr. Hassan served directly under the New Jersey State Commissioner of Education as Assistant Commissioner of Field Services for the New Jersey Department of Education. Prior to his work as Assistant Commissioner with the New Jersey Department of Education, Superintendent Hassan served as the principal of East Orange Campus High School, Vice Principal of Woodbridge High School, and Assistant Principal John L. Costin was born East Orange. Superintendent Hassan came to education after a successful career in law enforcement and the military. He received his BA from Lawrence University and an MA at EES and CU Hall. It gives me great pleasure to present our Superintendent, Ms. Abdul Salim Hassan. Give it up for that nice air. Outstanding. Greetings to all. Greetings on behalf of the East Orange Board of Education and myself. I'm truly excited and humbled to be here this evening to congratulate the class of 2022. Give them a round of applause for their efforts. And I could not do this by myself. I just want to take a moment to acknowledge um, the Central Administration. Could you all just stand up and give them a round of applause to Central Administration staff? You got to stand up there. You got to stand up. Right? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, that makes sense. So I know the charge is always difficult, and you all manage and overcome many successes and odds as you pursue your, your endeavors. Now, you know, as Mr. English has said earlier, now on the page that's turned, right? And you're going to move forward, and you're going to be great and be excellent. But I want to let you know one thing. Never take no for an answer to anything you do. You can overcome anything you put your mind to. Empowerment is key. Believe me, empowerment. Build your self-esteem up. Be eager. Stay focused. Always stay focused. You can achieve any goal. I know we was at the game for the Clifton football game, and I was worried on the sideline. But we was focused, we was committed, we overcame, and we celebrated, we won. So I know that East Orange students can do anything they set their minds to against anyone. So I wish you all the best in your future. Because I know I'm between you and getting these diplomas, right? So I want your parents to come up here, and I want them to celebrate you all. I want them to celebrate your successes this evening, and I wish you all well. Have a great evening. Happy
meet after this. Don't leave until you see me. Yeah. Good evening, parents. Good evening, students, guardians, mayor, mayor. Good evening. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so excited. Um, just about today and how Cicely Tyson School is always in unison. The way you love each other is amazing. Please continue. Wherever, wherever you go in life, remember your classmates from Cicely Tyson and continue to love one another. This is a special school and you are all in a special class. Seriously, you're amazing. Guardians, Mayor Green, Ms. Haynes. Don't forget about opera. Don't forget your talent and the skills that you have and all of the other positions that Ms. Haynes talked about are potential opportunities for you all. And if you need more information, I'm sure there will, will be a contact for someone to get to help to get you there. Mr. Hassan, Assistant Superintendent, Champagne and Dr. Horace, Principal of English, Reverend Dr. Webb, Administrator, Supervisors, Teachers, and Fellow Board Members, it is an honor to stand before you today as President of the East Orange School District Board of Education. It continues to be a privilege for me to represent an educational system that stands for academic excellence. Members of the 2022 graduating class of Cicely L. Tyson High School, you have successfully completed all of the requirements for graduation. Based upon the approval of the faculty and the administration and by the authority vested in me by the state of New Jersey,
Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for this time of celebration. We thank you for these graduates. We thank you, God, that you have been with them every step of the way. God, we pray your blessings upon them. We pray that you will bless them on their going out and their coming in, wherever they go, wherever life leads them, wherever you lead them, we pray your blessings upon them. Go before them to guide, behind to protect, and on either side to prop them up. God, we thank you for all that you have done in their lives, all that you shall do. Keep them, God, in your care. God, we say thank you. We give you praise. This is our prayer. Let us all say. When one of the top public high school athletic programs in the state of New Jersey uses the number one live stream in the nation. Flip to Carson. He went the 90 yards on the kickoff return. He's trying to finish it off with a touchdown, and he does. The time, Carson. Ball court. Passed on over to Capstraw. Capstraw will dive in past two players, and she's able to lay it up and score. That is the 1,000-point club type of play right there. You can't ask for better than that one. Pass the cur- cross, stick down by Murphy. Send the shot and deflect it, they score! Two now. We're at the two thirds.